Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with uh, Luminar Neo and um, layers, masks, and composite images. I'm not going to make a perfect image on this because uh, of, of time of the video, uh, but you'll you'll see in, in one area of this I'll explain what some of the considerations are when you merge uh, two photographs and uh, how you can kind of touch up on on the masking uh, when that happens so let's uh, we're starting off with this image and it's at night and it's kind of foggy it's a pretty cool image and uh, I'm gonna take a, a second image right here Let's turn the opacity all the way up for now. So, there ends up, this is actually a pretty good image for our demo, and there are going to be a few problems. And uh, I'll show you actually how to fix some of the problems or some ways to fix the problems, and we'll discuss other ways. Uh, a lot of times you have to go back in uh, with the uh, masking brush to make a, adjustments if you really want to fine-tune certain things and we're not going to spend the time to do that because that's kind of time-consuming but I'll show you these areas now one problem with this image and a lot of times you have to kind of test the image and bring it into the um, other photograph and see how they uh, merge together or how they mesh but what one problem here is you can see that this um, background is very white or very light here and if we go let's just turn this hide the layer there a second in this image it's a very dark image so the problem you'll see here is that when we when we cut out the mask using the uh, portrait background it will leave a very slight edge of, of white and that's something you can go in with the uh, brush and remove if you don't want it uh, but primarily I picked this image because I want want to kind of match this image so it kind of it merges better into the background and I guess I'll just show you because it makes more sense when we look at it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the masking and we're going to go portrait background it figures that out we're gonna go remove all right it did a pretty good job of removing things but there are a few problems here there's this little white edge here and there's this little white area right here we're not gonna worry uh, about that in this particular uh, video but just be aware that if we had found a background with a slightly darker background it probably would have merged in a little better without having to do any um, touch up with the uh, brush on the masking. So one thing that kind of uh, concerns me are these posts that came in and I suppose you could mask some of those posts off but this guy's legs are behind the posts and uh, so what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna move this layer here because we want them near where the walk is anyway and we're going to move it down and uh, this works for m cutting off that part of them works for this particular uh, picture and then we don't have to worry about the extra poles that are there so I'm going to add them in like that So, besides this white line here, you can kind of see this part of the picture is in brighter daylight. And um, it doesn't really match the background. I mean, this is this is very blue light here, and this is kind of very white light that's shining on these two men. And it's too bright. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go... You have to make sure you click on the correct layer. And we're going to click on this uh, upper layer we can change adjustments on either layer and ind individually or separately so we're going to go to development and we're going to go to exposure and so we can bring it so they're totally silhouetted down or we can bring it back up some i'm going to leave it around there but you, you you can pick whatever you want now if we go totally silhouetted right here 
you can see that um, it actually got rid of that line behind this guy here. So that's one way to get rid of the line. The other way is, is if you get your exposure and it, it's up more and you don't like the line that's around this, you can, like I said, you can go in with the masking brush. Uh, one, uh, the other thing we could do, I suppose, is we could bring this down some like that. And that, that looks pretty good. Maybe bring the shadows up some. Now this isn't, these images I took from Pixabay, and so uh, they're not raw images. So if it was a raw image, we could really bring the shadows up more than that. So let's bring the shadows up, and let's bring this up some, maybe bring the highlights down. And that, that kind of gets rid of some of that edge. No, it doesn't. We need to do with the exposure. So right there, let's leave it there. That looks pretty good, and it got, actually we got rid of the edge in this case. So now the other thing that we can do is we can go down here, and we can go to uh, toning, and we could, we need to bring the saturation up. It's It's red right now, but we can move the hue over, and we can actually... We can actually make this a little more blue so that... It blends in a little more so the color of the light is a little bit better so now the the, the photograph blends in a lot better now and and, and uh, it looks more realistic or more natural in a sense so those are the primary things I wanted to show you in this particular video how we can p pick a photograph and kind of blend it uh, the lightness and the darkness and the actual color of it using toning uh, so th so that's some fun with uh, layers masks and composite images in luminar neo i'm dean and this has been photo blue and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe share and like